Deputy President, Western Uganda, Madam Joel Mudisha, and Deputy President, Northern Uganda, Dr. Alina Zebrika, the Right Honorable Leader of our Parliamentary Front, uh, Joel Senyomi, together with all members of Parliament, especially the women members of Parliament, our Secretary General and the entire uh, leadership of our Secretariat, Comrade Nubiangi, our Mobilization Secretary, and the entire Mobilization Team. Leaders at all levels, <laughs> food soldiers, the journalists, members, ladies and gentlemen, I salute you today. Today is an honorable day. Today is Women's Day. The day to celebrate our mothers, our sisters, our daughters, the most important side of humanity. I want to appreciate all of you women for turning up in large numbers. And yes, Comrade Sarah talked about it, that it's not so easy to even associate with us. As you know, they are trying as much as possible in the regime, trying to make it abominable to be a freedom fighter or to stand for what is right. Thank you very much for being bold, for being confident, for turning up and standing with us. We don't take that for granted. We are celebrating Women's Day allegedly 20 days later. But again, like Madame First Lady mentioned, there's always a spice when women are involved. We are thankful to the Almighty God that we are here today. We as NUP, we believe in women power, we believe in their ability. We believe not only in inclusiveness, but in equal presence. And indeed, it is our thought and firm belief that women should be represented to the level of 50% in every aspect of our party. Yes, because we know, and we've said it many times, that men and women are like two wings of a bird. Men are either the left or right, and women are either the right or left. So when one wing is broken, or not as strong as the other, the bird is not going to fly perfectly. So we strongly believe that women should be represented, and indeed, we are wanting an idea to have women leaders from at district levels to be direct representatives in the delegates' conference. I don't have so much to say to the women today other than appreciate them and also to speak to them on my behalf and on behalf of our entire party and the struggle that we are leading, that you are such a force. The first picture that we have on our wall, the hero Thomas Sankara told us so many years ago that a revolution without women is dead at birth. And that's very true. Every man you see here probably wouldn't be on time or wouldn't be as confident if they were not being backed by a woman. And the gentleman you'll agree with me when you're growing up, you know, before you get a girlfriend, you're not as smart as you are after you get a girlfriend. And you're always punctual, you're always more responsible because you're trying to impress a woman. That is how important you are. But still again, you, the women, take the biggest part of the task in the work that we do. 
And when it's time to suffer, you even suffer much more than the men. So this should speak to you how important you are. We hold you in very high regard. And we don't only believe in, you know, affirmative action in respect for women as something political. We believe in it from the depth of our hearts. And even when we are fronting women, we want to front the best that there is. We don't want to be like Museveni, only beating out five of the women. <laughs> In our government, as the national unity pl platform, we will pick women of value and valor. We will not pick thieves or jokers. And it's at this juncture that I want to add my voice to all the people that have spoken, to you, the women, while we hold you in very high regard, please represent the women folk in the best way they should be represented. Don't be thieves. Please don't be like Anita Mong. Don't be like Nabanda. Don't be like Nanuku. Be the women that their children will be proud to call a mother. Be a woman that your husband will be proud to call a wife. Be a woman that the nation will be proud of. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I want again to give my firm confidence to the women. We believe in you, especially you, the women leaders. Have confidence to take on leadership. Challenge for these positions of leadership at every level. Challenge even the, the men. We shall stand by you. Today, Strike a Struggle <laughs> Government <laughs> Tuja <laughs> Mukirize, 
Mama singo kwa na kwa na kwa yuko pini kizima. Sikuwa kala mnye, sikuwa kala nyu, sikuwa kala mnye, sikuwe nyu milizamu. Leo singi la dato ina kwa ina mna esubi, inji nyu 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 nyu. Finally, and this goes not only to the people here, but to the entire nation and the world. You all saw how shameless Jerome Seven is. Why the 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 world is shocked? With the glaring corruption in family, with the theft of taxpayers' money by Anita Mong and those under her, Mercedes came out to praise her. That is a man that always pretends to be fighting corruption, but we all came to realize that he did. Mercedes is a bit of corruption. Balani Mercedes, we have good day. Gakensio ni mazoko ni Anita Mong. Kubiri ni kubiri ni zomo msoro zapa msema ni yangu dayo na kama mofiri kwa mongo wani. Eshoni yaga chibala ke di ati wale na choke la ko muziki zene ulua ya choke la ko choke la ko zina mbele yani msema ni yaba la chibala ba kuzile. Eshoni chibala ke wale tu ni neva chibu no kwa na kumuja ko. And finally, Siri also. A gentleman that came pretending to be a foot soldier of people power and AUP that was paraded by Bala. And he pretended, he pretended to be speaking for us. We are not begging for our freedom because it is our constitutional right. All the people that have been killed, they were killed innocently and they must get justice. All our comrades that are in prison, they are not criminals, they are innocent. And we've been demanding for their freedom, we continue to demand for their freedom. We want freedom for Olivia Rutaya. We want freedom for Machete. Freedom for Karanzi. Freedom for Mumi Insane. We want freedom for all political prisoners. We are not begging to say it because they are not criminals. They are innocent people. So, to you, Mr. Balamadolo, the psychopaths of Museveni. Museveni is not God. Museveni is not the law. Museveni is also supposed to be under the law. We don't beg for our rights. We demand for our rights because they are given to us by God and confirmed by the Constitution. Ya fute mbako kelela, mbuyega ya msebe ni Atiba kata mbafibu ya kwata, urukwa chwa mwagira Tetuku saba mwami msebe ni kututa o ino kutawa kata mbafibu waka jwa ni msango Atoto kuma utaina kutabu kwata mbafibu jwa ni msango This is the reason why we petitioned all legal platforms in the world, including the International Criminal Court. And yes, Museveni is feeling the pressure. And we know our people are going to be released because Museveni has his feet on fire. We are not begging for our freedom. We are demanding for our freedom. Yes. I saw a man putting on a beret, and this is the beret that they said is a military uniform. I wonder why they not arrested me. I wear this every day. What do you show you? What do you show? Oh, put it on the Uganda. Oh, I see a man coming out. He wants to show me something. Oh, I'm going to come feel a way. I told him to move away. I did the mask of the Yamba. They come feel a way. Move away. So we want freedom for all 
political prisoners. We want freedom for Bolivia to retire. And we want it now. We want freedom for all political prisoners and we want it now. We are not going to beg you to save any of whoever you work with. We want our freedom now. I want to salute our sisters, our daughters, our mothers on this celebration of the International Women's Day. Mwema nyoktu we sachitigwa. Magiliza ilanga ambachale njinga. Timute kige ono kukule meze. What a man do, a woman can do. And sometimes it gets better. So, mutukule meze. Mukule meze. I wish you a very, very, very fruitful day for our sisters and brothers who are Muslims. Thank you.